What's going on? Do you have any wonderful things? You didn't get what I had to double with? I did. So, we've done everything we could think about doing, but the pedal is still low. There's kind of a sound when I push down on it, but the... We have we have replaced it. Do you know all the things I've done? Do you want me to repeat it all? Uh, I, I would like the engine size so we can get started. Say it again, please. What engine does it have? A four-cylinder or a six-cylinder? Six-cylinder. All right. And yes, please repeat. Can you tell me everything that you've replaced for this problem so far? Yes. Let's start with the master cylinder, the booster. Those two were just replaced within the last two weeks. They were replaced a year ago, too. We did it again. The uh, cylinders and the back brakes have been replaced. The calipers on the front have been looked at. They work just fine, even though they're old. It's been, uh, what, uh, what's the word I want? Bled? That the brakes have been bled. I don't know how many times. <laughs> what else? Ask me something else. If you, uh, if you were to block off all the hoses going to all the calipers, start the engine and then retest the brake pedal, would it be still the same or would it be, would there be a, a significant difference? It goes lower when you start the engine. It seems to be higher before I turn on the engine. Okay, so that part's normal, but what, what I'm asking is this. If you haven't done this, you're gonna need to run this test and here is the answer that you're looking for, my friend. Are you ready for this? I'm gonna repeat it. I'm ready. What you're gonna to need to do is you need to get some, some either vice grips or brake hose crimpers. You're gonna to need to get at least three, if not four of them, depending on if you have two brake brake hoses in the back or one brake hose. So what you're gonna do with the engine turned off, hang on, let me just finish. What you're gonna do is you're gonna clamp off all brake hoses going to all brake, all the, all the wheels. So for example, the two in front and then the two in the back, if they have metal lines going to each one, then there's going to be one brake hose that's going to that's that'll, that'll go to the differential. And what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to clamp off all of them, and then I want you to start the engine and see if the brake pedal remains the same. If it does, that means the problem is in the hydraulic system. If the brake pedal is now nice and firm, what you're going to have to do is remove one clamp at a time with the engine running and then retest the brake pedal. And what's gonna happen is when you remove the brake, you know, the, the vice grips from each of the, the lines and you're gonna retest the, the brake pedal, whichever one is causing this problem will allow the brake pedal to be nice and spongy. And then you know the problem is in that area. So what, what could be the problem? Could it be that the, that the brake hose needs to be replaced? Well, usually the brake hoses can, they can expand and they can cause a, a spongy pedal but usually what happens is the pins inside the caliper what they bend or they flex which causes a lower spongy brake pedal or the wheel bearing could be bad in one of the wheels and as it squeezes the, the brake rotor the wheel bearing actually it'll it'll move it'll bend or it'll flex so when that happens that'll cause a low brake pedal or a spongy brake pedal i understand that i i know i've learned enough after going through all of this. Yep. So, okay. Now, the other thing is, it's an 89 Jeep Cherokee. <clears throat> when I had it worked on about seven years ago, and they they could not find the parts to fix that particular model of a brake. So they changed it, and they took off the anti-brake. Could that be an issue? It, it could, yeah. I don't know which one is which. One was, was one way. What's the one that I used to have? Can you tell me that? I'm not sure I understand your question. The, the original brake that would have been on there with the anti-lock. What is this? That's one thing, and then they changed it, and it became another. What a brand, uh, There's two different kinds of brakes. I oh. can't remember what. You mean disc disc compared to drum brakes? All right, I have drum brakes now. Is that right? I would think it would come with drum brakes, and they may have updated okay, them to fine, disc. Fine. Yes, that is right. From drum to disc. So that may be the whole problem and that they changed it because they couldn't get the drum brakes. I got gotcha. you. The answer is yes. If you're asking me if that could be related, the answer absolutely is a, is a hard yes. How do we how do we put an anti-lock what we have now? How do you the put the anti-lock brakes back on the vehicle or the disc brakes or the drum brakes? Oh, we can't put the drums back on, I don't think. No, it's already been changed over too many times. I'm trying to work with what we have now. Right. 
So the analogs can't be put back on with what I have now. Is that correct? I don't believe so. We've never done that in the shop. We wouldn't reinstall ABS. But if you're asking, can you reinstall drum brakes now that the disc brakes have been installed, maybe it's possible you'd have to go through the, the right procedure. No. no, I don't want to go back. I just want to see if there's a way to get me a better pedal. It's mostly because they'll stop. And, and if I slam down really hard, it'll stop on a, close to a dime. But the, the pedal is really close to the floorboard. And I'm trying to just bring it up enough so that I feel more comfortable with it. You're sure you have disc brakes now, correct? In the rear? I have a caliper on I have a drum. I have a cylinder in there. Is that right? Well, if you have drum brakes in the rear, you have a brake cylinder. You have a, you have a, you have a cylinder. All right, so you got rear drum brakes. I got you. All right, so I'm a little confused. So if you have rear drum brakes, then if you haven't checked the wheel cylinders, and if you haven't checked or adjusted the rear brakes up, then that could also cause it. So yeah, you did. No, no, we have. We replaced all of the cylinders in, in the back. They were just replaced. And the shoes themselves? We did not replace the shoes. So that would be my answer. So you, you need to possibly replace the shoes. You would need to adjust. Okay the brakes up in the rear, you adjust them so that the shoes are close to the drum. Oh, I understand. I'm understand. I don't know how to do that, but I, I can mention this to the fellow that works on it. Okay. And you're still going to have to run that test with the, with the, the vice grips or the and brake I line. Do that. I will do that. Oh, fine. Stop now before I get too many things in my head. Okay? Sounds good. And I, may have, I may have to call back, but uh, I know that at least somebody will answer it. You've given me different things to think about. You got it. You're welcome.